Welcome to the first week of EdTech 501, Introduction to Educational Technology. This first week is named First Stop, a place for you to become familiar with the course, meet your classmates and instructor, and understand how best to communicate and collaborate in an online course environment. Learning objectives are always clearly stated at the beginning of each week. During this week, you will conceptualize the organization and purpose of the course through viewing a course introduction video and reviewing the course syllabus. You will apply optimal viewing of your Moodle course by updating your Moodle profile and customizing your profile settings. A helpful video has been prepared to facilitate this activity. You will identify different ways to access the course, communicate, and receive messages. Apply preferred communication tools, methods, and course. Apply tech skills in creating a narrated introduction using Animoto, and identify tech skills needs in using Google Docs. It's a way to introduce you to the course and get started on the right foot. So, what are the recommendations for this course? First of all, use Firefox browser and make sure you have an up-to-date version on your computer. We will be installing Zotero, a Firefox plugin, later on in this course, so I want you to be familiar with this browser. Also, Moodle renders very well on Firefox. You can view our course on a mobile device or an iPad. Content should render acceptably well. I recommend you set up a regular Google account and use that in this course until Boise State changes their policy on deleting student accounts once a student graduates or leaves the program. It's your choice, but I've found the activities work best using a Gmail account not associated with Google Apps. Please use the course forums to post course-related questions. Many students will have the same questions, so this saves everyone a ton of time. And if you know the answer, jump in. We are all in this together. For quick responses, I prefer you use Gmail chat or send me a text message. Send me a text message anytime. I may not answer it right away, but I can quickly answer and then get moving on to the next task without having to even open my email. Email is a time waster, and anytime you can save time with technology, do it. I can also meet you in an Adobe Connect meeting room, and there is also a mobile app for this now. This method of communication works very well if you are having a problem with the technology and I need to view your screen. Any non-urgent messages that are of a personal nature, feel free to send me a message through the Moodle messaging service or, alas, email as a last resort. I only view my email twice a day, Monday through Friday, so do not expect a quick response via email. Use Gmail chat or text messaging instead. Really. Each week will include a to-do list. This week's to-do list is pretty simple. 1. View the course introduction video and read review the course syllabus. 2. Update your Moodle profile and adjust email digest preferences and other settings as needed. 3. Introduce yourself in an Animoto presentation. 4. Demonstrate your Google Doc skills by creating a sample Google Doc and then sharing it in our EdTech 501 Google Docs shared collection. 5. Experiment with Google+. And you have two optional activities. One, enable mobile alerts for at EdTech 501 tweets. Two, attend an Adobe Connect orientation meeting to set up your microphone and optional webcam and learn how to use this web conferencing tool. After you get started and submit your introduction, please check back on our course site. You will want to see what your classmates posted and read more about them. In this course, you will be divided into small groups of five students. Many of the activities are collaborative and group-based. Discussion forums vary, with some being the entire class section and others being separate groups. Some of the forums are visible groups, meaning you can view other group posts but cannot respond to them. I think you will enjoy this type of class experience since it is more personal and feasible to communicate with a smaller number of classmates. I hope, this, I hope this video introduction will help you dive into the first stop activities. From here, read through the first stop link and get started. 
If you want, you can print any of the Moodle course web pages directly from your browser. They print well and can provide you with a hard copy to look at as you work. Do whatever works for you. Just get started. I look forward to meeting all of you and working with you this semester.